Heroes Project by Kelly Randazzo and Sydney Benino. Brian makes widgets which are wheelchair driver and braking systems that go on the standard manual wheelchair. How many years ago did the accident happen? 22 this year, 1987. Brian Watwood, a world-class athlete and professional skier, was hit head-on in an automotive accident while riding his bicycle. Brian was diagnosed as a C5, C6 incomplete quadriplegic. He was confined to a wheelchair that he could not operate. What does it mean to be a C5, C6 incomplete quadriplegic? Anybody that has a spinal cord injury in the neck, and the neck is from C7 up to C1, you have uh, a number of different kinds of vertebrae in your body. The ones in your neck are called cervical vertebrae. So my injury is up high, so I'm a quad. All four parts of my body were affected. Most all quads never stand up and learn to walk like I did. How were you affected from your accident? Well, before my accident, I, I was doing um, large construction projects and I had been a professional athlete. I had been a skier in the mountains. Um, my job was to search and rescue, avalanche control, um, use of explosives and bringing injured people out of the mountains. I went from being, quote, a normal person, and whatever that is, to a person that was severely crippled and couldn't, I couldn't move anything except my head. It dramatically affected my ability to relate to the world. And it wasn't, after new, it wasn't until after numerous surgeries and lots of therapy that I was able to start to do the things that I do today. But what outdoor activities did you do? So I, I was a nationally ranked kayaker. I was a professional skier, as I told you, and worked with the National Ski Patrol. Um, I played basketball a little, not much. Um, but I, I did a lot of soccer and sailing and bicycle riding and running, so, which I couldn't do after I got hurt. How did you come up with the idea of a widget? Uh, I was in a wheelchair and I was at a spinal cord rehabilitation center in Santa Clara where I was sent after the first uh, several months in the hospital when I was injured. Uh, it's a special injury and it dramatically and drastically affects your ability to do things you used to do. It, for instance, took me years to be able to learn how to dress myself and feed myself and use my, my hands well enough to, to do those things you take for granted. And when I was at that rehabilitation center, I was trying one day in my wheelchair to get to a water fountain, which was about four or five feet. And I couldn't move my hands and arms because they were still paralyzed, at least not very well. And I couldn't get to the drinking fountain, which was that close. And then so I was so frustrated, I suddenly, I had this epiphany of levers. If I could just have levers, I could move the levers and the wheels would move. And so that's when it first came to me. How is the widget better than a standard wheelchair? Without the widget, pushing a wheelchair actually injures people in wheelchairs. So for some reason you go into a wheelchair and the wheelchair, the very thing that's supposed to help you get around, hurts you more, damages your arms more, and pretty soon you can't push your wheelchair, so you'll have to be in a power chair. And a power chair costs a lot more, and you have to have a lift and a big van or something to get it around. And additionally, it's constantly having to be charged. It's better because, remember, we don't have to bend down anymore. And what we do instead is sit up straight, use these big muscles, and we grab the lever, and I don't have to open and close my hands, which can't do that very well. So I got my lever, and I turn it, put it forward, and we just pushed it, right? And the chair follows the lever. The lever's pushing it forward, the wheels roll. So it's much better than having to reach out and grab the wheel like this and go down and reach back. And then if you're rolling down here, you gotta grab the wheel and hold on to stop. With the widget, you go forward, you go reverse, and if you wanna stop, you just pull in. It's much better because it's easier. It's safer. How did inventing the widget change your life? It's still changing my life because it's still a big process to get it into the public. It's been a 20-year job to build the widget, test the widget, raise money to produce the widget. So it's changed me in that I've spent most of my time and energy trying to bring a new idea in. But I did it so that I would have a widget for myself when I started 
And then when I got better and stood up and started to move around without wheelchairs, I decided to continue to do it for the people who are still in wheelchairs. What things could you not do before that the widget made possible? Well, when I was in a wheelchair, I, I couldn't motivate safely up or down slopes. I couldn't brake. I couldn't steer. And so the widget has allowed me to do that. I literally, um, because my hand is pretty paralyzed and I can't open and close it very much, I literally uh, couldn't safely operate a manual chair. Could motor around, so to speak, with my friends and not hold them up. I'm able to exercise with it. I'm able to get out and be part of the world with it. So it means that their wives or their friends or their attendants don't have to push them as much. They can actually get out and do their own thing. A success to us is we like to see people in wheelchairs with widgets doing things they couldn't do before. So it's done a tremendous amount of things for me, but it does even greater things for people that are totally wheelchair dependent, can't move without the wheelchair. Some of those people can't move their wheelchairs because they're so weak and diseased or injured, and yet with the widget, We've seen many of them start to be able to move their chairs by themselves for the first time. Hero, a man or woman of distinguished courage or ability, admired for his or her achievements and noble qualities. Although Brian does not see himself as a hero, we think because of his great achievements that he is. Quote, none of this can be done by one person alone, end quote, said Brian. The widget has come a long way from being an idea to helping those in need with the work of those behind him.